This production of Swan Lake is a complete defining moment for me as artistic director. It's such a big ballet. I don't know if anyone, even you know, the best ballerinas around the world, I think they're often daunted by Swan Lake. Members of the Swan Lake Company, this is your beginner's call. I don't think I've ever experienced an anxiety like this. One, two, three, two, two, three, three, two, three, four, two, three, five, two, three, six, two, three, a seven, two, three, eight, two, three, and nine. Five. My first conversation with the creative team, sets, costumes, lighting, was over two years ago. All right, we're starting. Swan Lake is tricky because you really have to veer away from it becoming a museum piece. What I've tried to do with this Swan Lake is to adhere to the original intention of Anne Williams's Swan Lake. She created this Swan Lake in 1977, but to make it for modern day audiences. I dance Odette and Odile. Um, so Odette is the white swan. She has been trapped by Rothbart and sort of put under his spell and she can only be freed if someone swears their true love to her. And then Odile is Rothbart's daughter and she's, you know, kind of the evil black swan. I play Siegfried, the prince. He has to marry and stumbles across Odette, falls in love with her and then she's taken away and Odile turns up and steals his heart and he swears to her and it's the wrong person. I've done Swan Lake quite a lot in different companies, but thinking about it, the directors had never played Siegfried before. Could we have the waltz on stage, please? I can trust him because I know he's done it, so yeah, it helps a lot. I first started as a professional with American Valley Theatre in New York City. That was my dream company. But then in 2011, uh, I joined the Bolshoi Ballet as the first American principal dancer. Be ready for her, because she's going to come, come a little later. He's danced everywhere, danced with everyone, like all of the, the big ballerinas around the world. Signature from either side. So it comes up and through. It's physically demanding ballet. Stand up on the hip. The demands of Prince Siegfried and Odette Odile are enormous. Exert so much physical energy. It's like running a marathon. And then it goes into the da 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 da. Mm -hmm. Do you want me to faint on the da da? Try the second. Yeah. Yeah. Because I think that'll make you less time for you to go. Yeah. Final tweaks of lighting. Just little things like just. It's amazing what lighting does um, on stage. It can go from like nice to like. So we want. I feel so strongly that we had to create a completely different visual for this version of Swan Lake because we are in 2023 and it's really a production of today's time with the choreography that was done so well in 1977. Just a couple um, notes. So instead of just to s pull around, give it a thought and Jared will give you the time for that. And a thought, yes, there we go, good, good, and stop. Very nice. It's now to them. It's not in my control anymore, which is a great feeling. Um, I've done what I absolutely can, everything I absolutely can. And um, when the curtain goes up, uh, I just have to sit back and enjoy the show. The 
there's always a bit of nerves and apprehension and worry. For me, it's just like reminding myself that we've had a really good prep, we've done everything we can. It's love, hey. I mean, like, it makes, it can make or break, like, you know, your show, like, how you sit in your shoe determines your balance. For me, this ballet can be quite daunting because it is so iconic and everyone knows how they want to see Swan Lake dance. So we do the rest of his makeup after. This is your half hour call. Thank you. Alright, that's front of house clearance. Standing by, please. Hey, company, this is your beginner's call. Could all act one beginners please make their way to the stage? Thank Going you. to the lake now. Bye. <laughs>